It's Kevin with Smart Scalpers, and this is my weekly vlog where I share with you how I make money buying and selling tickets and hopefully help you guys make some money buying and selling tickets. And what we try to do here is do a video week and just give some honest feedback of what was good and what was not good. And in this week's video, I'm going to talk about some not good. So, we sell on the exchanges. You guys know that multiple exchanges and we use software to help manage that and things don't always go right sometimes you have uh, double sales and you're responsible for providing those tickets um, and one event this last several weeks we had an artist just straight cancel a bunch of tickets and it got us in a little bit of a jam so we had all these sales where we made great money and then all of a sudden we had no tickets to fill those orders and I'm not going to get into the details because it's probably going to make me uh, sad and depressed. Uh, but I will say that it's a situation that we worked really hard to resolve. Um, Aaron, I, I mentioned Aaron to you guys. He's our COO and he oversees all of our uh, management of the ticket sales. That dude did everything he could to help recover, replace, and make it right. But at the end of the day, we just came up short. There were a lot of orders we were not able to fill. Several exchanges had grace and were sweet, kind, sensitive, and loving. And then some exchanges were straight nasty and would not be cool. They would not like say, okay, we see that she, excuse me, I just said she might know who it is. We see that she canceled a bunch of tickets and we're gonna just be cool and tell the buyer the situation. Um, but I was looking at it yesterday and between our brokers, franchisees and us, there was a loss of almost $7,000. And when I was doing the math there at my desk, I could feel like sweat beads on my forehead because it's so hard to make money. I mean, come on, it's really hard. I, I tell you guys, it's not easy. I don't get up here in the smart studio and tell you guys it is easy because it's not. But when you lose that hard-earned money, it's, it's, it's very discouraging. And some dude somewhere has my money. I don't know what he's doing with it, but I can picture maybe some sophisticated guy drinking evening tea out of a little white cup or maybe some book nerd. He spent my money on a magic set. Whatever happened to my money, it's not in my pocket or our bank account. And so losing money happens, I tell you almost every video, we make money, we lose money, but I hate it when we lose money and it's not our fault. Most of the time we lose money, it's our stupid fault. But this instance was not our fault. And so you have to have a good team, you have to have good software, you have to be triple checker, you know, like you check something and you go back and you check it again and you say, hold on, I'm gonna check it one more time and you check it a third time. And we got people in our office that are compulsive. There's one person in our office, she's checked stuff five times. And we appreciate that because her errors are, are limited. Uh, and so, we had a bad week, we lost some money. Overall, we didn't lose money, thank the Lord, but we lost 7K, you know, between us and our team. And um, it's, it's not good. And so if you are one of those guys that has my money, if you are like an exchange, and I'm not going to say your name, if you have my money, I'm coming to get it. Thank you guys for following and subscribing. Ooh.